Last devlog, we designed a clown that wasn't creepy. Just one problem. The clown we spent two weeks making turned out to be pretty creepy. So now we need to backtrack and spend just as much time redesigning the character. Kill your darlings is a saying from creative writing. It means if you work hard on something that isn't contributing to the story, it's time to get rid of it. Right now, the juggling clown isn't helping our game, it's distracting. So it's time to kill our darlings. Hi, I'm Foster Turtle, and I joined an indie game called Hex Strikers that's shaping up to be a roguelike deck builder where you place hexes and earn tokens. While we are fixing the clown, we still have other artwork to do. I also started making art and animations for the food bonus tiles, which create interesting player decisions. To redesign the clown, I started by pulling from the existing art style. One of the main problems with the current clown is it stares directly at the player, menacingly. He's just standing there, menacingly! Because there is no blink animation or change in expression, it's just a tad unsettling. We'll mimic the one-man band and striker by making the new clown in a three-quarter perspective. For the design itself, I tried to keep the proportions more cartoony. The first clown ended up being extremely lanky, originally inspired by still artists. But because of the clown's arms, the final results just didn't look quite right. For the new clown, we'll keep him short and a little chubby, just like the one-man band. I also added a little propeller hat to the new clown to give him some personality and charm. For the animation of the clown, I kept things simple. On the first clown, I tried to animate the hands to the juggling balls, but the motion just ended up being stiff and repetitive. For the second clown, I varied the speed of his hands to give him some more rhythm and bounce. Altogether, I think the new clown design fits much better in the game, especially after seeing the first clown active in gameplay. The second thing I worked on was updating the bonus food tiles. For all of the foods, I did an initial sketch, then animated a bounce animation to be used when the tiles are activated. And Hex Strikers, mustard and ketchup tiles will increase the benefits from corn dogs as long as they are within two tiles of the striker. Chocolate sauce and sprinkle tiles will increase the benefits from ice cream inside of the same range. The popcorn tile will increase the benefit gained from adjacent strikers being placed. Without the popcorn tile, new strikers will inherit half the benefits from the first striker, but with it, new strikers receive 75%. Players will need to weigh the choice of buying new tiles and upgrading existing ones with the food tiles. If you have ideas for other upgrades, toss them in the comments as we are still expanding Hex Strikers to make it the best game it can be. For the sprinkles and popcorn animations, I added a couple of extra touches. The mustard, ketchup, and chocolate sauce are just bottles, but we can lend secondary motion to the popcorn and sprinkles by animating some kernels and sprinkles getting jostled into the air. For the sprinkles, I also added some wave animations to the sprinkles as they bounced into the air. To do this, I drew a wavy line, then offset it slightly for each frame of the animation. For a final touch, I added some sprinkles falling back into the rest during the down frames. I've been keeping track of art updates in this handy spreadsheet, and we are making a ton of progress. It's super satisfying to log art as it gets completed, and soon we'll be starting on brand new art for the game, so be sure to toss some ideas my way. Like I said at the beginning, I'm Foster, and Sidfish and I are working on a roguelike deck builder called Hex Strikers. The Steam page is active, so if you like the concept and want to play it when it comes out, please wishlist it. Thanks again for watching, and from me to you, as always, stay positive, keep creating, and share your gifts with the world.